Tonight, our investigators have uncovered more details about a local father and son accused of murder a thousand miles away from here. Police say the two killed a couple in North Carolina and then got into a shootout with police last night in West Virginia, wounding both of those police officers. Now, both of the men live just outside of Alvin, and that's where investigative reporter Jace Washington is joining us live. And Jace, I understand that you've learned the father, Edward Campbell, has been on the run from police here before. That's right. It's surprising as we tell people in this community here what's going on. Now, what we can tell you is that his family says they have no idea where he has been since he went on the run. Two weeks before, police say the father and son team got in their New Year's Day shootout with West Virginia police. Edward Campbell was a no-show for a December court appearance in Brazoria County. Prosecutors said he'd beaten his wife at their home in September. Edward Campbell's attorney said his client has not been allowed back since. There are orders in place to keep him out of the home. Court documents say Campbell punched his wife and then said he'd kill her. At one point, investigators say he called the kids into the room to hug their mother one by one, claiming that was the last time she would ever see her kids. They also say he tied her up and accused her of cheating. When I met with him, he was very earnest about his innocence, and, and frankly, I, I believed him. There were also accusations that he showed up on the MD Anderson campus trying to find his wife. Neighbors say Edward Campbell had a reputation. He come up to the fence and looked at me, says, I'll kill you and uh, shook the fence like a crazed man, which he is. Now police say he and his son killed an elderly couple in North Carolina and then torched their house. When West Virginia police pulled Eric Campbell over, his father drove up in another car and started shooting. Edward Campbell's attorney says family members are left struggling to understand why Eric was even there in the first place. They just could not imagine Eric being involved in any sort of criminality. He's never been in trouble before. Um, and they both, I mean, they both used the word, separate conversations, both used the word naive and used the word sweet. And he, he's just a very nice kid. Tonight, we have also learned that Edward Campbell used to be a nurse, but then his license was revoked. While working at an area hospital, the state says that he took pain medication without a doctor's prescription. We're live in Alvin, Jace Larson, KPRC Local 2.